It's been quite some time since I've had an opportunity to work on GraphPad, and with this video I'm going to attempt to pick up where I left off, was working with the components and how they interact with tables. And to begin with, I'm just going to open up a new form. And I'm going to add a couple of um, tables to it, both a legend, and this would be the legend, we'll put this in the upper corner here, and then also a summary table, which will um, capture the costs, etc. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to where I've got my component set up and I'll just demonstrate how we add components. So if we edit the feature, we've got the cost uh, per unit, but we also have the ability to add components. In this case, I've added um, half inch bolts. And if we look at that, we've got um, the number. So for example, every time we add the symbol, we're going to add four half inch bolts we have to purchase and then a cost per bolt. So now if we look at adding this to the drawing, and we have to go back over and select electrical symbols. We add an electrical symbol. In the legend, what we're going to see is um, what that um, symbol represents. So it's a special purpose floor. It's um, in addition to the one um, lamp, we've also got uh, four bolts and eight washers. And those values have been added to our summary table. And now as we add um, additional um, elements, we see that it consistently brings those um, the table um, up to uh, captures those values. We can actually delete. We have different methods we can delete. So now we're down to one, and the table will automatically be kept in sync. If, for example, we have another symbol, um, we'll notice that this item it's a blanked outlet, and it has two uh, bolts associated with it. And we notice that that gets added to the correct place inside the table. So we've got. Um, a total of six bolts um, and just eight washers. There's no washers associated with it. So that shows generally uh, what's what I'm working on. Now, what I'd like to do is if we go and we look at, for example, some sort of an area calculation, uh, the next phase would be able to add that same component capability uh, to our areas. And so if I go to patterns and I select a pattern, right, and hit fill, currently, I'm just adding the square footage and multiplying by unit cost. But if we look at the patterns, uh, what we really should have, and we'll go to patterns here, and we'll bring up the cement, we should also have a components capability as, um, here as well. And so now, not only would we have the cost for the cement, but we could, for example, say that if we're putting in a patio, we also need, um, per square foot, we need X number of bags of um, gravel, and X number of bags of sand so we can level it, etc. So that shows the state of the application and where I'm hoping to take it. And that's my presentation. Thanks.